The AGM-114 Hellfire is an air-to-surface missile developed primarily for anti-armor use. It was originally developed under the name Helicopter Launched, Fire and Forget Missile, which led to the acronym Hellfire that became the missile's formal name. It has multi-mission, multi-target precision strike capability, and can be launched from multiple air, sea, and ground platforms. The Hellfire missile is the primary 100-pound class air-to-ground precision weapon for the armed forces of the United States and many other nations. Description The Hellfire can be deployed from rotary and fixed-wing aircraft, waterborne vessels and land-based systems against a variety of targets. The development of the Hellfire missile system began in 1974 with the U.S. Army requirement for a tank buster, launched from helicopters to defeat armored fighting vehicles. Production of the AGM-114A started in 1982. The development test and evaluation launch phase of the AGM-114B took place in 1984. The DT&D on the AGM-114K was completed in fiscal year 93 and FY94. AGM-114M did not require a DT&E because it is the same as the AGM-114K except for the warhead. Most variants are laser-guided with one, AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire, being radar-guided. Laser guidance can be provided either from the launcher, such as the nose-mounted optoelectronics of the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, other airborne target designators or from ground-based observers, the latter two options allowing the launcher to break line of sight with the target and seek cover. The Hellfire II, developed in the early 1990s is a modular missile system with several variants. Hellfire II's semi-active laser variants are Euro AGM-114K High Explosive Anti-Tank, AGM-114KII with external blast fragmentation sleeve, AGM-114M, and AGM-114N Metal Augmented should a Euro achieve pinpoint accuracy by homing in on a reflected laser beam aimed at the target. Predator and Reaper UCAVs carry the Hellfire II, but the most common platform is the AH-64 Apache helicopter gunship, which can carry up to 16 of the missiles at once. The AGM-114L, or Longbow Hellfire, is a fire-and-forget weapon, equipped with a millimeter-wave radar seeker. It requires no further guidance after launch a Euro even being able to lock onto its target after launch a Euro, and can hit its target without the launcher or other friendly unit being in line of sight of the target. It also provides capability in adverse weather and battlefield obscurance. Each Hellfire weighs 47 a kg slash 106 pounds, including the 9 a kg slash 20 pound warhead, and is a range of 8,000 meters. The AGM-114 Romeo Hellfire II entered service in late 2012. It uses a semi-active laser homing guidance system and an integrated blast fragmentation sleeve warhead to engage targets that previously needed multiple Hellfire variants. It will replace AGM-114K, M, N, and P variants in U.S. service. In October 2012, the U.S. ordered 24,000 Hellfire II missiles, for both the U.S. armed forces and foreign customers. The joint common missile was to replace Hellfire II by around 2011. The JCM was developed with a tri-mode seeker and a multi-purpose warhead that would combine the capabilities of the several Hellfire variants. In the budget for FY 2006, the U.S. Department of Defense canceled a number of projects that they felt no longer warranted continuation based on their cost-effectiveness, including the JCM. A possible new JCM successor called the Joint Air-to-Ground Missile is under consideration. Due to budget reductions, JAGM development was separated into increments, with increment 1 focusing on adding a millimeter wave radar to the Hellfire to give it a dual-mode seeker, enabling it to track moving targets in bad weather. Combat history, since being fielded, Hellfire missiles have been used in combat in Operation Just Cause in Panama. Operation Desert Storm in Persian Gulf, Operation Allied Force in Yugoslavia, Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, in Operation Iraqi Freedom, where they have been fired from Apache and Super Cobra attack helicopters, Kiowa Scout helicopters, and Predator unmanned combat air vehicles. The only known operational air-to-air -air kill with the Hellfire took place on May 24, 2001.
a civilian Cessna 152 aircraft entered Israeli airspace from Lebanon, with unknown intentions and refusing to answer or comply with ATC repeated warnings to turn back. An Israeli Air Force AH-64A helicopter fired upon the Cessna, resulting in its complete disintegration, and the death of a Stefan Nikolian, a student pilot. In 2008, the usage of the AGM-114N variant caused controversy in the United Kingdom when it was reported that these thermobaric munitions were added to the British Army arsenal. Thermobaric weapons have been condemned by human rights groups. The UK Ministry of Defence refers to the AGM-114N as an enhanced blast weapon. The AGM-114 has been the munition of choice for airborne targeted killings that have included high-profile figures such as Ahmed Yassin in 2004 by the Israeli Air Force, Anwar al-Awlaki in Yemen in 2011, and Abu Yayi al-Libai in Pakistan in 2012 by the United States. Launch Vehicles and Systems, Manned Helicopters AH-1W Super Cobra, AH-1Z Viper, AH-64 Apache, Augusta A-129 Mangusta, Eurocopter Tiger, SH-60-MH-60S-MH-60S Hawk, OH-58D Kiowa Warrior, RAH-66 Comanche, AH-6 Little Bird, UH-60 Black Hawk, Westland War 64 Apache, Fixed Wing Aircraft, BHCraft King Air, AC-208 Combat Caravan, KC-130 Harvest Hawk, A-29 Super Tucano, Air Tractor AT-802U, Unmanned Aircraft. Photros, MQ-1B Predator, MQ-9 Reaper, Predator CMQ-1C Grey Eagle, Manned Boat, Combat Boat 90, Experimental Platforms, the system has been tested for use on the Humvee and the improved tow vehicle. Test shots have also been fired from a C-130 Hercules. Sweden and Norway use the Hellfire for coastal defense, and Norway has conducted tests with Hellfire launchers on protector remotely controlled weapons systems mounted on the Stridsborg NT-90 coastal assault boat. The U.S. Navy is evaluating the missile for use on the littoral combat ship. The missile will be tested on the LCS in 2014. Operators Variants AGM-114A Basic Hellfire, Target, Tanks, Armored Vehicles Range, 8000 M, Guidance, Semi-Active Laser Homing Warhead, 8 kg Shape Charge Heat Length, 163 cm, Weight, 45 kg, AGM-114 Bytes Per Carat Basic Hellfire, M120E1 Low Smoke Motor AGM-114B has electronics add for safe shipboard use. Unit cost, $25,000, AGM-114DE basic hellfire, proposed upgrade of AGM-114 bytes per carat with digital autopilot a euro not built. AGM-114F interim hellfire, target, tanks, armored vehicles. Range, 7000M, guidance, semi-active laser homing. Warhead, 9 kg tandem shaped charge heat. Length, 180 cm, weight, 48.5 kg, AGM 114G interim hellfire, proposed version of AGM 114F with SADA Euro not built. AGM 114H interim hellfire, proposed upgrade of AGM 114F with digital autopilot a Euro not built. AGM 114J hellfire 2. Proposed version of AGM-114F with lighter components, shorter airframe, and increased range a Euro not built. AGM-114K Hellfire 2. Target, all armored threats, range, 8000 M. Guidance, semi-active laser homing with electro-optical countermeasures hardening, digital autopilot improvements allow target reacquisition after lost laser lock. New electronics add, warhead. 9 kg tandem shaped charge heat, length, 163 cm, weight, 45.4 kg, unit cost, $65,000, essentially the proposed AGM-114J with SAD, AGM-114L longbow hellfire, target, all armored threats, range, 8000 m, guidance, fire and forget millimeter wave radar seeker coupled with inertial guidance, 
homing capability in adverse weather and the presence of battlefield obscurants. Warhead, 9 a kg tandem-shaped charge high explosive anti-tank, length, 176 a cm, weight, 49 a kg, AGM 114M hull fire 2, target, bunkers, light vehicles, urban targets and caves, range, 8000 m, guidance, semi-active laser homing. Warhead, blast fragmentation incendiary, weight, 48.2 a kg, length, 163 cm, AGM 114N Hellfire 2, target, enclosures, ships, urban targets, air defense units, range, 8000 m, guidance, semi-active laser homing. Warhead, metal augmented charge, weight, 48 a kg, length, 163 cm, AGM 114P Hellfire 2, version of AGM 114K optimized for use from UCAVs flying at high altitude. ATM 114Q Hellfire 2, practice version of AGM 114N with inert warhead. AGM 114A Hellfire 2, target, bunkers, light vehicles, urban targets and caves, range, 8000 m, guidance, semi-active laser homing. Warhead, integrated blast frag sleeve. Weight, 50 a kg, speed a Mach 1.3, AGM 114S Hellfire 2, practice version of AGM 114K with a spotting charge instead of a warhead. AGM 114T Hellfire 2, AGM 114R with insensitive munition rocket motor and electromagnetic control actuators. Rocket motor. Contractor, Alliant Tech Systems, designation, M120E3. M120E4. Main features, qualified minimum smoke propellant, rod and tube grain design, neoprene bond line system. Performance, operating temperature, a 43 AA degree Celsius to 63 AA degree Celsius, storage temperature, a 43 AA degree Celsius to 71 AA degree Celsius, service life, 20 plus years. Technical data, Weight 14.2 a kg, length, 59.3 a cm, diameter, 18 a cm, case, 7075T73 aluminum, insulator, a 181 array mid fiber filled EPDM, nozzle, cellulose phenolic, propellant, minimum smoke crosslink double based. See also References External links <laughs>